that's 11. One, two, three, four, five. Catherine Collins and her sister Melina have been through a lot. What were you worried about? Um, I was worried about a lot of things. I mean, anything could have happened. By the time I got here, I had like $18 left in gas. So I didn't know where we were going to stay or what we were going to do. Jessica Segovia decided to move to Seattle from Indiana. She was buried in bills, and a friend said the job market here was promising. It was a risk driving cross country and living out of their car. Okay. Once they got here, Jessica learned about the Reach Center of Hope in Renton. They made us feel like this was our home and we were safe here. The Renton Area Association of Churches worked with the city to convert this old jail space in the basement of City Hall into a women and children's day shelter. It opened in May. We want to feel like it's a home, it's a, a community, a place of support. And most of all, that they feel love, and it's a place that uh, keeps them connected to life while they're in this transition. At night, the clients sleep at local churches. During the day, they come here to eat, shower, and get help from caseworkers. I have appointments with her every week to move on to the next level. Sometimes we'll tackle the housing, then we'll tackle the work um, sources and what I can do, clothing. For the girls, school supplies. So lucky. For Catherine and Melina, they have been able to read, play games, and meet other kids like them. It makes me feel like they've been in my shoes before and that they know exactly what I'm going through. Life on the street isn't easy, and right now there are few places homeless families can stay together. In Seattle, the city council voted last month to shut down Nicholsville by September 1st, a tent encampment that's been around for two years. This year alone, there's probably been over 30 some people that have died on the streets right here in Seattle who were homeless. There's a case of a, a guy who was in the hospital last year, and Discharged from the hospital, no place to go, found him dead in his truck. It's a situation Jessica and her daughters don't have to worry about. One, two, three, four. Knowing they can count on this shelter until they one day have a home of their own.